Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Harmony. So today's video is going to be a top favorite concealer video. I'm going to make this kind of like a series on my channel. I'm not exactly sure how, but I want to start doing like my favorite concealers, my favorite foundations, my favorite um, lipsticks, like, you know, things like that. So this is going to be all about concealers. So if you guys are interested to know what my top favorite concealers are, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to this channel, my name is Harmony. Hi. I am a freelance makeup artist for MAC Cosmetics and I have been doing makeup for now six years and I am self-taught. So I taught myself everything I know about makeup. It's been a trial and error. It's been a lot of money and yeah, it's what I do. It's what I love and obviously when you're passionate about something, you do it a lot. So I do makeup a lot. So we're just gonna jump into concealers. So I love concealers. Concealers are like one of my favorite parts of makeup because I feel like they're so universal. You can use them for so many different things. You can use them as like a you know spot corrector, color corrector, a foundation. You can use them as an eyeshadow primer. You can use them to cut creases. You can use them to clean up brows. Like I just love concealers. If I can only use one makeup product for the rest of my life, it would probably be concealer. Just because I feel like they have so many purposes. So why wouldn't you like concealer? So let's just jump in. The first one, which is the most expensive one, and this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Now, if you guys do makeup, if you guys watch YouTube videos about makeup, you guys have probably seen this concealer before because everybody and their mom talks about this concealer. Mine is in the shade 22N Light Neutral, and I got mine from Ulta, and I think that that's the only place you can get them is Ulta. I know that they don't sell these at Sephora. So I highly recommend you guys try to find a coupon for Ulta so you guys can get this on sale because that's what I did. I want to say this concealer is like $30. Hold on. $27. So that's a lot of money for a concealer. That's a lot of money for a foundation. Like I have foundations that are half that price. So it's a lot of money. But this is a very good concealer. I don't really use it on the regular just because it's so expensive. I don't want to go through it and then have to buy another one so many times. So I try to use this one sparingly and it is a little bit light for me. So what I'll use this one for is to kind of just like highlight under my eyes a little bit more and it has a lot of coverage. And I also really like using this as a eyeshadow primer. So this one is really good if you guys are not on a budget and if you guys want to try something a little bit more bougie, try the Tarte Shape Tape. But when you do try it, keep in mind about the color range because I feel like the color selection is a little funky. So just keep that in mind concealer is from the drugstore the rest of them are pretty much all from the drugstore so this one is the Maybelline instant age rewind concealer and this is a corrector that's what it says multi-usage so there's no rules of makeup you can use makeup however you want to use it but this one has a different kind a a different kind of applicator it's like you roll it up and then the product comes on this little sponge so it is a little bit more unsanitary it is a little um kind of gross actually like well i mean you're putting a wand on your face so i guess it's the same thing but this one just kind of seems a little gross but i really like the formula of this concealer i really like the color mine is in neutralizer which is just a really yellow shade so i use this one just to like highlight underneath my eyes and i really really like it and i've been using this concealer for years and i always always go back to it so this is a really good concealer and it's from the drugstore the next one is the elf 16 hour camo concealer now this concealer is a little bit hard to work with just because it dries super fast but i really like using this one to clean up my brows and i also like using it to prime my eyes because it does dry super matte so that's what i really like this concealer for um this shade is in medium peach but this is way too light for me even though it's a medium so this color is just not my favorite for putting on my face, but I really like it for my eyes. So that's what I use this one for. The next one is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. Now this one is um, a drugstore one obviously as well, and this is in Cashmere 360. I really like this concealer to, you know, highlight under my, un, under my eyes, and I, this one reminds me a lot of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I feel like this is a very similar dupe, and if you guys look at the wands, the wands are super similar in size. 
if you want to try the Tarte Shape Shape but you're on a budget and don't want to spend the money, try the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. This one works just as good, if not the same, and it's literally way cheaper. So if you guys want to try the Tarte Shape Shape but don't want to spend the money, try this one. Next one is actually the same exact concealer, but it's the darker one. And this is in the shade 425 Chestnut. And the reason why I'm including this one in this video is because I use this to contour every day. I go back and forth between this and the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit, just kind of depends on my mood. But like today, I am using I use this one to um, cream contour my nose and my face, my forehead all that stuff and I really really like the way that it looks and since it is a concealer it's going to last all day and your um, contour is not gonna fade so that's what I love about this concealer the last one I saved the best for last because this is my baby and I love it this is the morphe concealer I don't remember the like exact name of it but it's the only concealer morphe has my shade is C 2.35 and I'm obsessed with this concealer and it's actually almost out. So I'm gonna go on a little rant about how good this concealer is because I don't ever hear anybody talking about this concealer online. So this is the Morphe concealer, like I said. I picked this up just to try it and I got the shade, like I said, C2.35 C and it's a little bit darker. So it's not a dark concealer, but it's pretty much like the same shade of my face. So how will I will use this one is after I put my foundation on, this is when I want like a full coverage day. After I put my foundation on, I will cream contour with this concealer or the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. And then I will take this concealer and I will use this to carve my nose out and then I will use it to conceal my under eyes. And everywhere that I put concealer or that you normally put concealer, I will put this one on. And then I will highlight with one of the other ones that I told you guys. So I will use this one mostly on my face every time I'm doing a full face. Or the other way I like to use this one is if I'm not wearing any foundation, I will just put this all over my face and then blend it out with a foundation brush and then put some MAC uh, Studio Fix powder on top. And girl, my skin looks so good. Every time I do that, I get compliments on it. Um, this is the fourth concealer of this one I've gone through so I freaking love it and ever since they made you know Morphe stores and malls it's so much easier to get stuff but with everything going on right now they're closed and I ran out so I can't use it but you guys this concealer is so good I promise it will not disappoint I, I think it's like nine dollars so it's not too expensive and it is just so 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 bomb I don't know if I like the color more or if I like the actual formula more like I'm not sure which one I like more but it's just a really good concealer and I highly highly recommend it and I love that I can use it as a foundation and I actually think I like it even more as a foundation than I do as a concealer just because I love the color I love the formula I love how it looks and it just it's so perfect and I just love it Okay guys, well that was all of the concealers. I know this video was kind of short and fast, but I just want to do these videos for you guys so you guys can kind of get some ideas of good products to try out instead of doing, you know, like my favorite, all of my favorite makeup products at one time, I can break it up into categories. So if you guys want a different kind of category, let me know. Um, I think that I'm going to film a eyeshadow one. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know and I will do that. Uh, I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, so that video might be a little bit longer, but if you guys are interested in that, I will do that for you. Also, I want to do an eyeshadow basics makeup tutorial. Um, I get a lot of questions about eyeshadow, so if you guys are interested in that, let me know and I will do that as well. And let's give a post notification shout out, shall we? So today's post notification shout out goes to life of Stephali. you guys want a post notification shout out all you guys have to do is comment down below and subscribe to my channel and then you guys will get a post notification shout out in one of my upcoming videos so yes thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys have an amazing day and i hope you guys stay safe during the quarantine and i will see you in my next video bye guys